Hey crafty friends, this is Jenny from crafttestdummies.com and today I am behind the scenes, BTS, and I am at uh, KS Production Studios in Solon, Ohio, and this is the studio where Hands-On Crafts for Kids is filmed. It's also where It's So Easy, uh, Beads, Bubbles, and Jewels, I don't know, some bead show. And uh, all of a lot of the craft shows that you see on PBS are actually filmed here. So what I thought I'd do today is give you a little walk around the studio, show you how we're prepping our segments, and um, take any questions that you might have about how we shoot a TV show. So um, let me flip the camera around and I will take you on tour. Okay, so when you walk in the door, you come right into the green room. And this is what the green one looks like. Now, notice this is not green at all. It's actually beige. But what you have are these large tables, and these are prep tables. So this is one for um, a co-host that hasn't shown up yet, and like these are my tables. So these are all of the projects that I am working on. As you can see, it looks like chaos, but actually it's very organized chaos. Each project is on one of these metal sheets, and what we have are the directions, all the materials that you need, and all of the step outs. So generally you'll have the project or the product shots, so all the stuff in the packaging, and then one, two, three, four step outs so that we know right along the way what we're doing and what, what portion comes up next. Oh, I got a little up, thank you. So um, on a show like Hands on Crafts for Kids, we will have usually four different major segments per show and these are the ones that I'm working on. You know, it's kind of fun. You get a, a sneak peek. You don't get to see this until it actually goes on air uh, next year. So you'll see my marquee mirrors over here because the marquee is such a hot trend, right? And then we have some chalkboard hand prints. Let me see if I can give you a little sneaky peek of what that's going to look like too. It's under here. There we go. I'll spin it around so you can see it. I'll have to watch this later. Have a wonderful day. Thank you. So there you've got some uh, faux chalk. It's not real chalk. Shh. Don't tell. And then we've got some gelatin prints. And if you have followed Craft Test Dummies, you know that I'm a big fan of gelatin printing. So we're going to be doing some jelly prints with kids. My little sneak peek of a hedgehog. I'm going to make a little hedgehog sculpture. We're making a drum. We're making some little hats. We are going to make some pixel art because who doesn't love pixel art? And then I'll walk around here and show you. So we've also got some books. We're going to be making our own books out of envelopes. I'm very crafty. Thank you. Some bite grips and bottle rockets. Literally rockets made from bottles. Linda says, I had a ball helping you with this. Love the behind the scenes. Well, Linda, thank you so much. Linda was very instrumental. She helped me at home prepping these drums and the curry K cups and some of the pixel art. And she did a lot of prep work on those little hedgehogs. So having somebody who likes to help is awesome. So here are some of the other ones that we're gonna be working on. You'll notice that there's a lot of styrofoam that uh, you'll see on these projects. That's because they're one of our sponsors. You'll also notice a lot of Elmer's glue and glitter glue, a lot of Elmer's products because they're a sponsor and um, we get to use and play with these things. One of my favorite products from this season is this glittered organza. It's just thin and ephemeral, but so sparkly, and you can use it for so many fun things. I spy bubble wrap. Yeah, there's some bubble wrap up in here too. Look at these cool angel wings that we're gonna be making. It's a wonderful way of getting kids crafting and then having imaginative play with the things they create. So you'll see some holiday things. Look at this, this is gorgeous. Let me show you this one. This one's not mine. Isn't that beautiful? Yay! So we have some fall crafts. Again, more dress up and imaginative play. All kinds of fun things. And then these are the ones, you'll see felt. Felt is often used in our kids' crafts. Well, Cuthbert Curlew, you have to watch the show. We have so many crafty ideas and projects that you would just absolutely love it. So now what I'm gonna do is walk down the hall and take you into the studio so you can see what the studio looks like. 
from behind the scenes. A little kitchen area. It's where we have our little lunch. And then boom, into the big studio itself. It's okay, These, um, all of our segments are available online um, on YouTube. So you can watch all of the PBS shows on YouTube. So this is the set itself. And you can see there's a lot of lights. But this season we've got our lockers and our paint sticks. Here's some more of our sponsor products. Thank you to Faber-Castell. Yeah, no excuses. You can always YouTube it, right? We've got all these great paints and products from Faber-Castell. They sponsor a lot of segments. And right now I'm just walking you around the set. <laughs> and here's some of the other projects that we've made in the past. Kind of fun. So these are things you will see on the screen, but not in any kind of detail because the camera doesn't come back this far. Now, when I'm sitting here working, this is what I see. Not nearly as adorable as what's behind me. Yes, wave, hi. So that's one of the um, tables that we work on. So all of these lights will be on and will be a little hot and schwitzy, um, but that's okay. They do a good job of getting so that you don't get super shiny because that wouldn't be good. We don't want to be super shiny on camera. Um, this season, I'm really wearing just one outfit and an apron because I think that's a lot easier. Um, but we shoot a lot of things in one day. So in the morning, I'm actually gonna shoot eight, eight segments between uh, probably 9.30 and lunchtime. So they go really fast. Each segment uh, should only take about six minutes to do. And we don't have like do-overs. So if you make a mistake, you kind of have to just keep going. And if it's a really bad, bad mistake, then uh, they'll stop you and they'll talk in your ear and tell you kind of where to pick it up. But this isn't a lot of heavy editing. This is really just flow of consciousness. Let me tell you the directions and speak to you as naturally as possible, which is something that I feel comfortable doing. I enjoy just feeling like I'm talking right to you. This is how we do the craft and I'm excited to craft and so I wanna share that excitement with you. So thank you so much for stopping in today. I'll be doing some other behind the scenes. Um, I'm here all week, actually through Thursday. So I'll probably chime in tomorrow with a Periscope to show you some more of our finished products, talk about makeup and um, you know, show you what the set looks like all lit up. So thank you so much for watching. Make sure you follow me on Instagram at Craft Test Dummy because I am sharing a lot of photos there. And of course, you can see the segments that we shot last year on YouTube. So it's um, Craft Test Dummies YouTube channel. I have a playlist called TV Segments. So all the ones that I filmed last year are there now for you. And we've got um, the kids segments. We've got adult segments from Scrapbook Soup and of course, you know, all the other things that I make for you at my house. So thank you again for watching. Have a crafty day.